As far as families being involved with the clients, I feel as though it's a great thing for them to be involved. Um, I do feel as though they should give them a little time to themselves in the beginning, only about the first week. As far as that, um, I think it's great when the families are calling to check up on their sons, daughters, boyfriends, girlfriends, sister, brother. I think it's a great feeling and for them to come in here and see their family member completely change from the first day they got here is great and it makes me I mean, I start crying at my desk all the time because of how happy I am. And to see how happy the family member is, it's great. It's a great feeling. This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. stop giving as much support as I used to. And that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> that's what I'll be talking about. Man, y'all can ask anything y'all want to. Noble, have you decided to come clean about your crack addiction? Have you came clean about taking dicks in the ass and sucking it and sucking it while I got shit on it? Have you sucked the dick after it came out your ass while it had shit on it? Now ask me that. Now think about that and then ask me that question again. And I, I mean, shit, you just got to be real with yourself. You know, and that's what it was all about. Shit, I've been in long distance relationships. When I came through, it was like, oh, I'm out. okay, who is this? SS Gym 3. All right, do I got to put a banner up, bro? All right. I think I could trust. No banner, sir. So um, I, I was in, you know, I, I hear your breakup. I hear the pain that's in your voice. Hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on one second. First, you got to introduce yourself, and I, I want to know who I'm talking to before you start going in. I got to feel your energy first, okay? Well, my name is Super Saiyan Jim. I was the gentleman in the chat that asked you if you were going to come out about your current or previous drug addiction and I work yeah. with people that have drug addiction so I can kind of tell the tail signs that you give off so I was just coming up to like just like introduce myself you know I'm not just a troll in the chat trying Hold to on, like one second, one second. Hold, whoa, 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 whoa. you said you said what about drug addiction and, and, and compare it to me what you said I work with people who have drug addictions crack uh -huh. heroin methamphetamine mm -hmm. and then you, you give off some of those ticks like we call them ticks in mm -hmm. the community so I, okay. and I was just wondering if you were going to like come out with that because that's part of the problem you know kind of is mass here now she was saying that you you were smoking a whole bunch of cigarettes while you were there that's what a lot mm -hmm. of people do when they're trying to kick the habit they it's called cross addiction wow. Wow. So like, okay, let's, now, okay, you know, I okay, mean, now, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to stop you there. So you're basing part of your theory of me being an addict on what someone else said. Now, I mean, oh, wait, 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 wait. Based okay. on what somebody, based on what somebody said, and not what you observed, right? Is that what you're saying? Sir, she knows you better than anyone on this internet because no, 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 you've interacted no, 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 no. with her. I'm at, no, I'm asking you a question. So what, what I'm saying is that you're basing your theory of me being an addict on what someone 
else said and not talking to me directly. You just well, I mean, your way. behavior also, your indecisiveness. You know, you say you're gonna go offline. I mean, you no, do you change your mind consistently? Like that's yeah, part yeah, of the problem. Right, 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 right. Okay, now check this out. Now listen. Now listen. Have you um? Do you know anything about um occult science or metaphysics? Occult science? Yeah, occult science. Not devil I mean, worship, but occult science. I'm. I, I don't know anything about that mojo. Okay. Okay. Which okay, stuff. okay. So so. So what, what I okay what I do know I it, it, sorry to interrupt what I do know is about drug addiction and it, the vibes okay. that you're giving off so that's all I'm okay. I, this, okay. is, this is my but, profession but, but, but I could also I could also recognize gaslighting and that you came over here to try to like troll me and try to make it seem like I'm an addict or something but check this out bro I've never smoked crack in my life I never done heroin in my life the only thing I ever done in my motherfucking life was goddamn weed and alcohol and cigarettes that's it so was the weed was the weed laced with something wait 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 a minute so before you even you ain't even asked me a question of my life I mean you just actually came up and was like well the tips you giving me is that you do you know that I've been in motherfucking war zones? Do you know that I'm an ex-marine? No, I wouldn't say ex-marine. Do you know I'm a, a Marine? Do you know that I've been through Desert Storm? I've been to Magadushu. I've been Spec Ops. I've wait, been wait, hold on. I, hold on. What's Magadushu? It's called Mogadishu. So I know you haven't been there because you can't spell it right. So you up here. Okay, I see where you're going. Go, go, go what you're saying. Go ahead. Say what you got to say. Okay, so you said you smoke marijuana. It could have been laced with something. You know, and I, I also have experience with Alcoholics Anonymous also. This so, I mean, the, the fact that you, <laughs> you know, you admit that you have a drinking problem. Have you actually I never admitted. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. I never said I had a drinking problem. I never said I had a drinking problem. What I said is that I drink when I want, not when what serves me. I can, I can okay. go past it. I can, wait, wait a minute. You're not going to control my channel. I'm going to talk. What I said is that I don't go past, I can go into a liquor store and don't buy liquor. I can go past a liquor store and don't crave the shit. I crave no alcohol. I drink when I want to drink, just like I smoke when I want to smoke. I do what the fuck I want to do. I have no addictions. The only thing that I can say is a habit is that I go to fucking work every day and I brush my teeth. That is a habit. Everything else is just what I want to do and maybe wash my ass, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Just the rudimentary everyday shit. That's the habit. But the shit that I do outside of that, that's what I want to do. But crackheads want to get high and smoke crack and alcoholics want to drink all the time and I drink. Nothing, I don't know nothing about what you're talking about. Okay. So how often do you drink then, sir? That don't relate to me. How often do you drink? I drink. When I want to drink, that could be sounds anywhere. like all the that could be that could be anywhere between every weekend or every other day. It depends on when I want to fucking drink. You know what I'm saying? So, you're, so, so you, you are a functioning wait, alcoholic. Wait, 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 hold on, wait a minute. Because check this out. Because you're not acting like a super saiyan. You're acting like a super bitch. For real. Sticks because, and stones, sir. Sticks first, and on, stones. Because 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 for the first part, you coming up on the on the panel trying to psychoanalyze me and try to make it seem like on my panel, because you saying that you are a, a whatever a drug counselor, whatever the fuck you say you is, that you're going to come up here and psychoanalyze me and make me seem like I'm fucked up. But no, you're fucked up coming up here trying to talk to somebody that you think is fucked up that got their whole motherfucking mind on them and up here trolling you while you're up here trying to troll me. So what the fuck is you <laughs> talking about? Sir, I can pronounce Mogadishu, and I don't fall in bathtubs. Yeah, that, so you that, just admit it. Wait, 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 wait! You, now you deflected. You going back to Mogadishu or Mogadishu or whatever the fuck the name of the place is, whatever the fuck the name of the place. However you pronounce it, that's not even the point. The point is, you tried to come up here and come with your psycho babble, trying to troll and make it seem like I'm a fucking addict. I don't know who sent you. Maybe MU. Maybe somebody else tried to send you over here to try to catch me up. But today is not the day, bro. So the I good the good Lord sent me. Wait, 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 wait. 
We're not, this is not drug counseling one-on-one. You go over there to MU and you talk to MU because she's going through her sobriety shit and she's the one you need to be talking to. You well, she's too to far me. gone. She's too far gone. I seen a little bit of hope in you and I'm hoping that you can actually get the treatment that you need. Bye, nigga. Bye, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You ain't, man, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck wrong with that guy? Did, did y'all hear how this motherfucker tried to come on me? He actually tried to, like, nigga, you an addict. But the way he talking to me, he sound like he the motherfucking crackhead. He sound like the addict. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, blah, blah, blah. Look, I'm tell- I tried to be nice to him. Who's next? Who else want to come up here and try to goddamn troll on some bullshit? My life before was pretty miserable. I was obviously really active in my disease and I I wanted to die, really. They took me on a tour like a week after being at Channel Islands and I ended up here. I had so many issues that I was drowning out with alcohol that I didn't even know existed until I got here, you know? Um, I did like three and a half months at the compound and then um, I went to a different sober living. The program really just changed my whole life. Um, so community is so good. Like, I didn't even have an understanding of the steps or the solution until I went to Oak Forest. Not to mention, you know, all the staff is great and they all care and the community is great, but the program in itself is great and it has a lot of ca- accountability and love. So, yeah. And there's hope. If somebody's struggling with addiction or if somebody's kid is struggling with addiction, like I always say, if one of my kids was dealing with that, I would send them to Oak Forest. Twenty-three million Americans are in need of treatment for drug and alcohol addiction. Sober College made it easier for my son to accept help when he realized he'd be with people his own age. Sober College allowed our daughter to earn college credits while in treatment. So she didn't have to put her life on hold. Sober College helped my daughter find herself with a really supportive approach. Knowing my son is in good hands lets me sleep at night. Call Sober College today. I did, and I'm redefining myself. Yeah, donate to Super Saiyan Gym. You got dollar signs, S-U-P-E-R-S-A-Y-I-N-J-I-M. 